So we're just gonna put a net cam in before the Royals Edmonton game. One hour till puck drop, setup begins. So this is a 15 millimeter lens. His tools of the trade. That looks good. We don't want that focus to really change spots. Precision is key. So this is the remote shutter that will go on. So this is so that when I take a picture with my camera that I'm using normally during the game, it will also take a picture on this camera. A few finishing touches and a final test. When I press the shutter here, it goes through here into that one and then it'll take a picture there. For sports photographer Kevin Light, it's time to head to the office. You do have like a adrenaline rush when you're down there. They're going very fast and it doesn't really come across on uh, TV. Your attention has to be focused the, the whole time. Perfection is always chased, but hardly ever reached. Sometimes a referee will come in the way. Sometimes a player will go in the way and you won't get exactly what you want, but you need to stay focused on okay, what's coming next. You can't dwell on, on what you didn't get. At intermission, Kevin Light scrolls through his near 800 taken photos. Only a small few stand the test of time. We got a, a goal in the net cam, which is always positive. If the name Kevin Light sounds familiar, there's good reason. 2008 won gold medal in Beijing with uh, my teammates in the men's eight. Light retired from competitive rowing following the 2012 London Games. Since then, photography and family have been the focus. Applying lessons learned from his rowing days to his new career. It's really on to you how good you want to be. Nobody's really going to come to you and, and, and help you. You need to reach out and ask for feedback and be able to deal with that feedback critically. Though still new to the photography field, sports is second nature. I look for photos that would be appealing to me as an athlete. So I would look for moments, I would think moments between the moments. Rather than the, the goal, which is obviously important, but maybe the moment where the coach is talking to the players during the timeout before the goal. In just his third year as a pro, he's covered three Grey Cups and multiple NFL games. He says to best prepare, know your storylines, anticipate the action. If I see a defenseman open or something, I might, okay, well the play might flow that direction and I'll prepare for that type of shot. Or in the case of Brandon McGee's 300th game, we focus on him a little bit more. I mean, he's a star player anyway, so he gets a lot of coverage, but maybe just a little bit more. Here we go. As the horn sounds, a rush to capture the celebration. Game over for the Royals and fans means time to begin the post-production. In the background, in order for this player to stand out a little more, we can just darken the crowd just slightly. Out of nearly 2,000 photos, only a select few make the cut for the Royals website. For Kevin Light, it's another day of learning and improving in the highly competitive world of sports photography, the type of daunting challenge he's familiar with. Trying to win the Olympics, or trying, even trying to get onto the Olympic team as a Canadian and then trying to win the Olympics is probably one of the more competitive things you can do in, in the world. Well, if I did that, if I apply the same steps, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do this. In Victoria, I'm Kevin Chirac.